Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at Dragonfly Garden and I thought that we would make a fun card just using this stamp set. Now it comes with a coordinating punch so you can punch out the dragonflies if you want to and there's a little tiny one. We've used this quite a bit already, but I thought we would do something just with the stamp set because I know that quite a lot of people who are starting out don't want to invest in too much at this all at the same time. So this is a lovely set. You've got beautiful flowers, so you can just do the flowers. You've got this lovely little accent of these little flying um, butterfly bug little things. Um, some nice sentiments and you've got the two dragonflies in different sort of colour tones. So I thought we would have a go at doing a card with this one and it's going to be a little bit different. So I've got a mat of Knight of Navy and then I have just got a quarter of an inch smaller um, card base. Now mine measures five and a quarter by three and a half but wherever you are in whatever country use what works for you. Okay grid paper is quite good and also it allows you to be able to um, stamp and not get it on your table because you can just get rid of that piece after you've used it. So it's a red rubber stamp which is lovely. You've got two different types of the dragonfly so one has got a clear body that you can colour in and one has got a black body so it stands out a little bit more and the wings are slightly different. We're going to use the one with the black body because I want it to stand out a little bit more. So let me just get this one out and we are going to pop it on a block. So let me just get a block out and then I'm just going to put it on a block. Now this is going to be a fairly simple card whoa says me just putting it all over there that wasn't very good was it hands aren't working today it's a little bit chilly so my hands don't work as well we've had horrendous snow here which um, I know that uh, it's nothing compared to some of you you have so much snow but um, we've had snow which um, is quite unusual for the southeast of England Okay, so we're just going to put the dragonfly down, ink it up again. Now I'm using Memento because it's a water-based and I want to use blends to colour it in. So by doing it with... Um, The memento it makes it easier so we're literally just quite sort of randomly putting the dragonflies across on the card right the way across I think we'll have another one coming in like that Okay, because we don't want them to be, I might even do another one just at the top. No, I'm going to leave it like that for now. And let me get my Simply Chamois to clean it off. And then I'm going to use the little tiny... piece in here to just go over in a couple of those spaces it'll all become clear sort of later on but I want to um, put this one in on here I want these to just come in on some of the spaces but I don't want it to go completely over everything else so I'm just sort of having it as a background piece and we'll put little bit down there, little bit down on there, some out on there and 
some on there now you can mask it if you want to because I want to try and get a little bit in on there but I'm going to no because I'm going to put the sentiment on that side so that, that doesn't matter so don't worry too much about getting it there we go that'll work so I've just done a little bit of that. As I say, if you wanted to mask it, you could do. But I'm trying to keep this fairly simple so that it's not um, there's not too many complicated stages to it. OK, let's just put this top on there before I throw it about all over my work surface again. And I'm going to put this. Oops, I've just knocked my next project out of the way. Let's move that there little bits and pieces flying everywhere so I'm just going to pop this back in its case like this and then we are going to get on to doing a bit of colouring with this now I know that quite a few of you enjoy seeing me colouring so I thought I would um, I would go through and show you some of these so I'm going to use the what colour is this Bermuda Bay which is sort of a bluey green colour. And with all of these, what I tend to do is, oh, I might not be able to do this because it looks as if this is um, just starting to dry out. We'll see. So I'm just taking it over the top. I think we should be all right blend it in with a couple of others so you take it from the inside up over and as I say this is quite um, almost drying out but I think we should be okay I might just do a couple of oh and I should have let it dry as well because I've got ink on my surface here but um, never mind I think it'll work I think we can get away with it so we're just going to take it up on here um, you do need to let inks dry a little bit particularly if you're doing different um, you're doing quite a lot of stamping um, you will find that your inks will bleed a little bit, but as I say, I think we can, I think we can get away with it. We'll have to see. So I'm just going through and taking those off, and I'm turning it round now quite carefully so I don't smudge the ink. Um, you find as well that once you've, if you re-ink your memento, um, so it's slightly juicier to try and get a sharper black, that it does sometimes take just a little bit longer to dry. But as I say, I think we should be all right because I think we can just take we can sort of put sentiments or something like that over it and I think by the time we've actually finished the thing it'll probably look a bit better so this is the one that I just stuck my hands over this is why when I say to you to turn your paper as you go it makes sense so as I say I'm just going round the outside just in on the center bit and out again and it just gives just about getting it done and then this will be another one that I need to replace it's the only thing that would be good is if they made alcohol ink markers with refill ink like you can with your ink pads and I know our ink pads are water-based but I'm sure there should be some way of being able to get them to last a little bit longer because depending on the weather as well they tend to 
last longer sometimes than at other times and I certainly don't use them all the time but um, I suppose they're not too expensive so they sort of look at it that you can replace them as you want okay right so that's the inside part of there now I'm going to take just make sure I've got that lid on now I'm going to take the um, let's take the dark balmy blue and I like particularly with dragonflies and things to mix and match the colours so that they blend in quite nicely and this is a beautiful beautiful blue to sort of blend it in really quite well and as I say if you blend it up through what you've already put down you'll find that it just blends through quite nicely so these are very easy ways of colouring I'm no expert but I do enjoy doing, um, you know, colouring things in so that they look really pretty. But particularly with this dragonfly, you don't need to worry too much about lights and darks. You can literally just colour it through without, as I say, having to worry about your lights and your darks. And it's a fairly quick process. You know, I'm not spending a huge amount of time on this. I'm just following around, not getting too close to the edge because if it's a fairly juicy blend, so in other words, it's a fairly new one, you will find that it will bleed across onto the outside if you get too close. So I use little tiny flicking motions and uh, as I say, just turning it round as I go. And taking it round, little bits at the end that I might have missed. And as the alcohol starts to evaporate, you'll find that the colours blend through really beautifully. So it's, um, it's a nice way of doing your own colouring through. And let's do this one, which we've got our little splodgy bits in. But as I say, I think we, I think we might be all right with it. I'm going to try and cover it up with a sentiment at the end. Okay, nearly done. So you can always fast forward, as I know a lot of you do, so that you're not watching all of this colouring but I know that some people like to watch it and see okay so now we've got those coloured in and if I wanted to I could take this is the is it the dark mint macaron yes it, no it's not it's the dark pool party and uh, um, and just take a few little tiny pieces in fact what I might do with this one is to just take the body part on here because that just gives a little bit of a different colour tone coming through which is quite nice and as I say on these ones you can just do a couple of sort of flicks through to give a little bit more sort of blue in on there you can sort of see you just get a slightly different tone I think the more dragonflies have the most gorgeous sort of bluey green almost iridescent wings um, I have a pond in my garden and the dragonflies come to drink in the pond and it's just beautiful seeing them flying across so I'm just doing just a couple of strokes because it then just gives just a little bit of a different colour tone coming through Okay, right, so I think that that'll work. Now make sure that I've got my dragonflies running the right way up. And take the lid in. Okay, so those were the three colours that we used from that. And as I say, I have got a little bit of uh, um, 
bits that aren't quite right on there however what we're going to do now is we are going to take and we're going to do a background to just blend some of this in now we can take it in I think I'm going to take it in a blue um, and I think the pool party might actually work with maybe um, I'm just looking at some colors so I've got pool party here and then I think I'm going to use, I want to use the, I want to use my blending brush to just take some of this in. Now I need to make sure that this is, um, I've still got some sort of pinks on here. So I'm just going to take that up very lightly through to just see how that how that comes yes I think that that will that will work quite nicely although as I say I've got um, okay so we've got some what pink did I use I used which is quite a strange one to use but I used magenta madness so no I didn't I used melon mambo so I'm just going to take some of these now I don't want this too dark so I'm going to do it very sort of lightly just with a little bit and take quite a lot off because I just want a hint of colour coming through on here and you will find that because you've got your um, you've coloured your dragonflies in with the um, blends you will find that it won't um, it won't colour through too much. So as I say, we don't want it too much at all. So I'm then going to take the pool party. And again, I don't want too much. So I'm going to take some of it off. And I don't want it to be too sort of grey. And I'm just going to add some bits of it in. So you've got the combination of the two running through together. You can sort of build it up as much as you want, really. In fact, I am going to take just a little bit more without, particularly round where the my blobs were, because it will cover it up a little bit. And as I say, you can take it from the bottom, turn your paper around as well, and we're literally just doing it very lightly i don't want too much color coming through but i do just want to where i've got the bits that are a bit sort of blobbed up i'm just taking them through so you've got those color tones coming through i think that'll do so that's fairly sort of subtle um, but again very easy and then what we're going to do is we are going to take our paper trimmer and we're going to take this into three sections. So you need to allow for a little bit of a space in between each one. So the easiest way to do it is on a calculator is just divide things by three. So my card is five and a quarter and I'm going to cut each one of these pieces down to... Um, one and I'm going to have to take it. So it, it it's one and a quarter less an eighth, which is one and one, two, three, four, five, one and five eighths. So literally just one above between the three quarters and the half inch one. And then I'm going to cut it straight down. And then I'm going to take the next piece and exactly the same. So it's one and three quarters less an eighth of an inch. Cut that down. And then we've got one and three quarters less an eighth, which then just gives us the space in between. Okay, 
So, and we've then got just this little scrap piece that we don't need. And then we've got our three pieces together like that. Okay, so let's now get our... blue which is the knight of navy on this one and we're going to put these three across and you just need to make sure that your space is equal so you now have three pieces cut like that and then all we need to do is to add a sentiment. Now, I'm not going to cut out sentiments for you, um, but I'm just going to use something that I've got. So let me bring my little box out, which I keep all my little bits and pieces and things in that I've done duplicates and things for. And um, so um, these are quite good ones. I keep saying they're the ones from the art gallery that you can cut them out um, or you can just cut anything you want and then you can just put that on like that um, I don't know whether I've got any larger sentiments I think those are the only ones I've got cut out at the moment but just pop a sentiment straight through in the middle you can um, just cut it um, out stamp it and then just cut it in a square and you've then got a pretty simple card and you can do it with any picture, as it were, that you would like. So build a scene, cut it down, but it gives away of the card just looking a little bit different. If you wanted to, to step it up another level, you can take each one of these and you can map them and then put them down. But I think it works really nicely to just have a divide through, looks a little bit different, you can add ribbon, you can add all sorts of other things, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Please look forward to seeing you again very soon. And as always, please stay safe and well and be kind. Bye-bye.